Well, it said nothing beats a home-cooked meal, right? You've heard that before. And now a new study shows eating too much restaurant food can actually lead to high blood pressure. So how much is too much? Dr. David Samadhi is the chair of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital, a professor at Hofstra North Shore LIJ School of Medicine, and a member of the Fox News Medical Health A team. We're glad that he's here to Thank weigh you. in on this. So uh, a home-cooked meal is always good because you can manage the ingredients that you put into it, you can hold back the salt, hold back the sugar. You don't know what's going on into your food at a restaurant. It's a quite interesting study that's coming from Singapore, actually. They looked at about 500 college students, and what they found is that if you really eat out once a week, you increase the risk of your high blood pressure and hypertension by 6%. What is high blood pressure? We always talk about cardiac disease and heart attack. The face of the disease is really heart attack, but there are certain characters, certain players behind the scene. We've talked about diabetes, we've talked about obesity, but the main one today is high blood pressure. And what hypertension does, makes your heart work harder and affect your heart, make sure that your kidney disease comes in, vascular disease, and finally stroke and everything else. So you're absolutely right. You don't know how much salt and calories and fatty food and saturated fat is in these meals. Based on this, what we're finding out is that high blood pressure, which 70 million Americans are affected by this based on CDC, it's not just elderly disease. Young teenagers, college students are now coming up with high blood pressure. And that's what's so surprising here, Doc, the fact that younger people are now developing hypertension. We should be sounding full alarm on this. This is actually a very important one because it's one of the few studies that correlates high blood pressure with what's going on in our diet and also these restaurants. Now, we have become a society of, of speed and, and stress and we don't have time to really go out. The tremendous amount of time needs to be spent to cook and, and so as a result, we're getting whatever we can fast and now the amount of salt that's here it's, it's a lot and it's too much and it causes prehypertension in about 27% of college students. That's just ridiculous. It's setting ourselves up for a lot of disease. And guess what? Between male and female sex, you know who was more in trouble? I'm guessing the, the female. You, no, no, you're wrong. It's us. 49% men. I was, I was just trying to give men a break there. 49% us versus 9% women. They spend How is that possible when a lot of men, especially when they're in college, like to be physically active, going out, doing sports and everything like that? So they looked at that. They looked at the amount of food that they eat, the time, number of times that they're really out there and they're eating out. And a lot of them are going about 12 times a week eating out. That's part of the problem. So you can okay. work out, you can do all the exercise, but you're pumping in all the saturated food and calories and salt, you're going to get into trouble. But you know, young or old, we like to go out and eat. That's the way we do in America. It's a, it's a, it's a way of socialization. So what are you recommending real quickly? I think that you should watch what you eat. You can go out and eat, but you know, I've always said on Sunday House Call, look at your plate. When you see multiple uh, colors, then you're in good shape. If you see red, green, yellow, and other things, you're in good shape. If you see just white and black, that's a lot of carb, that's a lot of rice, it's a lot of like meat, and you're in trouble. Moderation is obviously the key. Anything I say, you can always have some steak. In fact, I'm taking out my son out tonight <laughs> for a steak, so I'm, I'm yeah, guilty of disclosure. this. Once in a while, it's perfectly fine, but yeah. in general, just a balanced diet, fruits and vegetables are always good, and just don't go out as much as fish. Fish is always a great okay. thing. All right. Lifestyle changes, Lifestyle changes watch what yeah. you eat, and when you prevent it, it's absolutely the way to go. Now, if exercise doesn't help you, lifestyle change doesn't bring down the blood pressure, see your doctor because with medication, get medication, you can really reduce it and prevent stroke and heart disease. And I know we gave a lot of statistics, so I'm going to post everything on our Facebook Good. for people to come in, look at exactly how blood pressure affects your heart and your brain. Dr. David Samadhi, thank you as always. Kelly, always All good right. to see you. Good advice. Thank Paying you attention. very much.